What's up, man? Phil, what's going on, man? Man, Rick, I can't, I can't call it dog. Just <laughs> like I said, just laying low, man. Trying to, trying to adjust to these crazy times that we living in, man. That's yeah. about it. Yeah, man. I we, see you with that Melbourne United hat on, man. What you know about Melbourne man, United? Man, we actually played them in the preseason. That was the gift they gave us. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's crazy. I just did a, I did a online coaches clinic with them last night. Oh, uh, did you? About two hundred coaches. Nice. It was crazy. You know, I played there. I, I played, didn't know that. I played in Melbourne. I retired there. That's why I was like, Rico got that Melbourne United hat on, oh, huh? Man, I'm representing for. I can't let you see what's underneath it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't let you see what's underneath this thing, uh, man. I be having so hoodies. Hard. I be having hoodies on, hats on, yeah. man. Just you know, it's trying to stay, good, trying to stay cool a little bit. You know what I'm no, saying? I'm you. <laughs> That's why I see you letting that beard grow too, man. Man, I'm trying to get like you, man. Get gray like you. Yeah, let it flow, dog. Let it come I am, in, man. Rick. I am, man. You staying busy? I have been, you know, Rick. I've been spending, I've been spending a lot of time on my app, and mm -hmm. just, just really trying to. I've been following that. It. I love what you're doing with man, that. I too, appreciate man. that, fam. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. Just really, just you know, spending some time on stuff that we normally don't get to do, Rick. Mm -hmm. You know, our jobs. We're on the floor every day, all day, all night. You know, mm -hmm. whenever, whenever guys want to work out, we we keep ourselves available. So yeah, that leaves yeah. that leaves very little time for us and anything else, right? So. I've actually embraced, man, this time off. Yeah. I haven't had it, Rico. I haven't had it in like nine years, bro. Yeah. So I know. This time for me has been good to just to just kind of step away from the game and do some other stuff. So yeah. My app has been app has been keeping me pretty busy, man. Yeah, I love what you're doing with that, man. I told somebody, I think I was talking to C P the other day, and uh we were talking and he was just like, Man, I'm enjoying my time with my family. You know what I mean? Right. Just being with my family. Cause we don't never get a chance to be with them like that. So, right. So I, when, when, he, when we was talking about it, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna embrace it more. Just spending time with my people, man. Yeah, and man. And just not doing nothing sometimes. Man, that's big <laughs> for us, Rick. I mean, that's you know, that's hard for us to do, man. I mean, you, you know, you're around. We yeah. coach during the season, and then you organize probably the greatest runs in the country in the summertime, sure, man. man. It's like sure, man. that, that, that alone every day, and organizing that, and managing teams. I mean, we don't. We don't really get a break. I don't. Hey, I don't man, do I, I haven't had a break, like you said, in not like nine or ten years, man. I haven't yep. had a break where I'm away from the game more than three days. You know what I mean? Right. So it's, it's right. crazy, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Hey, but bro, listen, I've been sitting on the couch watching Netflix. I picked up an Xbox for the first time in like nine. <laughs> <at the end. laughs> so, hey, listen, man, I'm, I've been. I've been just enjoying this, Rick. Really, just, just completely getting away from the game a little bit, and, and just, you know, trying to, trying to give, give my time to my family as much as I can. Yeah, yeah, me too, man. And, and always just constantly checking up on the guys, man. Like, yeah, doing stuff like this is great. I tell people this. I've been telling people, man. Like, we just got to keep checking on each other. You know what I mean? No, we keep do, checking man. on each other. You know, whether it's five minutes, two minutes, whatever it is, man. A little bit go a long way, man. Because, you know. Yeah, sometimes you never know what somebody else might be going through. You man, know that's one hundred. I mean, life is short. If we're not learning that, that yeah. whole the whole the whole Kobe and Gigi and yeah, that thing. If that thing hasn't taught us anything, man. Man, I'm already and knowing, then, man. I'm already you know, knowing. And then, and, then to, and then to be dealing with what we're dealing with now, right after that, man. Just mm -hmm. it's a wake up call for me for sure. Me too. Me too. Like the little stuff yeah. does not matter. Like the little. Yeah. Little, yeah. Little, right. It don't matter. <laughs> hey, you know what I mean? Hey, I'm telling you, I know we all wish we could just rewind. Hey, look, man. Let's, go back to, let's go back to 2019. Or, For sure. You know, For and all sure. the stuff that we all the stuff that we complain about on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, this definitely puts it in perspective, man. Yeah, you won't catch me complaining about nothing no more. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. So how you um you've been you've been staying in contact with some of the players, still, you know, hooking them up yeah. with some, some, some drills yeah, you and know, stuff we, like that. I've uh, so I've taken some stuff from the app, Rico, and just sent some guys some at home stuff. Okay. Um, so I put together like some you know ten minute ball handling workouts. I've seen that guys, guys that don't have a court, mm -hmm. you know, they got some space where they can get outside at least. Yeah. Get ten minutes, ten to fifteen minutes in every day just on yeah. some handle stuff. Right. To keep busy, so you know, I've tried to keep in touch with them as much as possible. Mm -hmm. You know, through text, you know, Facetime a few guys here and there. Right, but you know, at the same time, too, Rick, I've I've also tried to step back from them dudes and and give them some opportunity to spend time with their families too, exactly. right? Exactly, and kind of step away from us, 
Right. You know, we're with them. We're with them every day. Yeah. You know, throughout the course of the season, and so they don't get a chance to spend time with their families. Well, so I've, you know, I've, I've tried to tried to give them their space as well, man, to to let it balance out. Yeah. And, and you know, we'll see how this thing pans out. What about yourself, man? Well, I just you know, <clears throat> uh, you know, I'll be doing some ball handling stuff with some guys, but for the most part, man, I just be trying to check on their mental. You know what right. I mean? That's yeah. it. You know what I mean? If, if yeah. they come across my mind. At yep. that particular time, I'll hit them up, Facetime, yep. drop them a couple messages here and there. Yep. You know, it, I try to, I try to just, just, just mess with them on a, uh, with their, their, their mind and their spirit. You know what I mean? Just making sure they're good with, Man, with a Rico, lot of positive that's, energy. That's, you know what I mean? That's your, that's your, that's your mo right there, bro. <laughs> like. Understand the big picture, man. Like, <laughs> no, no, Reek, man, for real. You know, I think we come across this business, Reek, and I think people have so much animosity. Oh man, towards other trainers, towards yeah. other coaches, right? Yeah. And what people don't really understand, man, when when you find another individual, whether it be one of us or someone of another ethnicity, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you know, people are actually putting out powerful messages that Man. that resonate yeah with yeah. players right. and helping these dudes way beyond basketball right right that's what you teach and reach everything that you talk to your guys about in your videos and at the end of your workouts is really about man what's your character mm -hmm. you know what kind of man what kind of man are you going to be in terms of your work ethic and your integrity right right people don't really understand that Rick. And so every time i see you talk about it <laughs> that shit is like no nah, straight up man i don't never you know, we never really spoke about it, no. Rick, but I, 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 man, I have so much respect for that man, because it's needed, man. It's needed. Man. These dudes don't really, they don't really understand. Most of them, they don't even really understand what you're saying to them. They think it's about, <laughs> they think it's about basketball, yeah. which is just, uh -huh. it's just one piece of it. Yeah. No, man. So that, that resonates with me, man. On, on, no, on I, I appreciate those kind of words, man. Cause I always, you know, you're the big homie anyway. So I always look up to you as far as that. And, and and you know, I was telling somebody every, every time every time I talk about you, the, the number one thing I say first is how how stand up of how stand up of a person you are. You know what I mean? You're a stand up guy. You know what I mean? And and I, those are big words. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah, but nah, a man. solid person. You know what no I'm saying? No question. Like, nah, Rick, that's that's hard for us to find. Is that <laughs> unfortunately look? Yeah, that's hard for us to find in our business, man. Yeah. It's just it's just you know we in a cutthroat business on both sides of both sides yeah. of the ball and i try to i try to always and I, and I say this a lot is i always say man when you see me you know exactly what you're gonna get like, you know <laughs> right. what I mean? I, i'm too dumb for all the other stuff like trying to figure <laughs> it out. i'm too dumb for all that i can't he's like you know what you're gonna get with me man and and and, and hopefully hopefully the uh the, the, the guys feel that pureness whoever i'm yes, around sir. feel that pureness nah, with it man and and then we'll we'll figure everything else out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, well, you know, I think the main thing, Rick, they know when they step into your gym, there's no bullshit. Right. right. You you come in here with the right mind frame, you come in here with the right attitude. Or leave. Come in here, and, exactly. <laughs> we're not we're not dealing with nothing else. Nah, right. man, nah, man. Cause like you just said, life is too short. It's such a blessing. And now we see it now. We got basketball taken from us. You know what I mean? Right. So now it's like you know, shit, you know, I would love to be in that gym right now with those guys doing what hey, we're bro. doing, man. You know what you I mean? Know what, I would too, but I'm still going to enjoy this time <laughs> off, bro. <laughs> I feel you, man. I I, I got to do a better job of it, man. Like, the first week was rough. It's getting better and better for me. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm starting to yeah. settle into a routine. So it's yeah. getting better and better, man. I just got to, uh, you know, I got to. We we doing a lot of wine tasting. <laughs> hey, bro, <laughs> listen, man, that's quality of life. Yeah, a lot you know? of cooking, a lot of man. cooking, a lot of recipes, man, and stuff like that. So, man, Rico, look, I I haven't cooked, I haven't cooked in over twenty years, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so look, hey, man, I've been in the listen, I've been in the grocery store more <laughs> in the last two weeks. Yeah. I'm telling you, then I've yeah. been in probably the last 20 years, dog. Yeah. Like, yeah. real talk. Me too. We spend a lot of money on groceries, man. For real, for real, man.